Hello and welcome to our weekly uh, recap and look ahead at the coming week here at markets.com. And what a week it's been in uh, the markets. Uh, we saw some steep selling uh, across the piece, uh, particularly in the bond market uh, as well as the equity market as uh, the investment community traders reacted to hawkish central bank moves. We had uh, a number of major central banks uh, pushing big interest rate hikes last week. Uh, the Fed notably went for another 75 basis points. The Bank of England on Thursday went for 50. The Riksbank in Sweden went for a full 100 basis points. So that uh, uh, hawkishness from central banks, coupled with the outlook that they presented, particularly the Fed, uh, making it clear that it's going to be going for uh, further hikes and pushing uh, interest rates into restrictive territory for longer. Uh, the market didn't really like that. The stock market didn't like it. The bond market didn't like it either. So bonds were sold off. We saw uh, the US 10 year yield. Uh, nudging up to its highest since 2010, shorter dated uh, paper uh, uh, at its highest since 2007. So big moves in the US bond market and that had repercussions for risk assets and um, particularly for the US dollar which rallied to a fresh 20 year high. The dollar index that is above 112 uh, by Friday. The euro at its lowest in 20 years. The yen so, uh, fell sorry, uh, to its weakest in 24 years before rallying as the Bank of Japan uh, uh, intervened directly in the market and sterling at a 37 year low, taking a 110 handle by Friday. And that was after the Bank of England decision, but also the fiscal event that was the mini budget uh, in the UK. Uh, widespread multi billion pound tax cuts for the UK economy, but no spending reductions, and the market. Uh, reacted as you might expect with a bit of vigilantism. So we saw uh, UK guilt, guilt being sold off very, very steeply uh, after that event, and uh, we saw U uh, UK yields surging as a result. Also, traders betting that Bank of England is going to opt for a 100 basis point hike come November. That's a big uh, increase in what was what had been expected before uh, the Chancellor uh, began speaking. So lots happening in the markets. Uh, the, Big story really, main overall narrative is uh, bonds being sold off sharply, stocks under a heap of pressure as interest rates rise and real yields uh, rise, gold also under pressure as a result of that, uh, and also the dollar just causing carnage in the markets, uh, the dollar rampaging and that's never good for risk assets. Coming up this week, uh, Italian elections take place now that right wing is set to take charge. We look to see what that might mean for uh, domestic economic policy, maybe some protectionism, who knows, uh, will there be the sort of structural reforms that Mario Draghi uh, government had signed up to, we don't know. Um, also EU relations, what it might mean in terms of uh, not just direct political relations with the EU, but also its relationship with the ECB and whether or not uh, kind of uh, fiscal discipline, which is uh, 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 being lost in the UK is also lost in Italy and whether or not that means it's eligible for certain support from the ECB as the ECB uh, raises interest rates. Uh, and then uh, on Friday the big event will be the US uh, PCE inflation numbers, that's the Fed's preferred gauge of inflation. The latest CPI numbers should have jump in the core uh, uh, reading the core month on month jump quite sharply. So we'll need to see whether or not that's repeated in the PCE numbers and whether or not we see this broadening in inflation and stickiness inflation that could upset the market further. So lots to look out for, but it's Italian elections to kick off the week and then US inflation to round it off. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.